Okay, welcome to another ham radio video here. Today we have the LDG Z100 Plus for the IC705. This is a complete kit that LDG came out with for the 705 to get you up and running. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, and after we get unboxing everything, I'm going to have to get everything set up and then show you it operating as far as uh, tuning your antenna in the 705. Um, real quick, we'll go over some specs with this. Um, this kit comes with eight heavy duty AA batteries. It comes with the ICOM IC705 interface cable. It comes with a BNC to PL259 coax cable. Uh, so basically everything in, in one box to get you up and running and get this uh, tuner to work with the 705. Okay, some of the features of the tuner itself, uh, RF power handling, you can hear, handle 0 0.1 to 125 watts um, sideband and uh, can handle up to 30 watts in digital. It has latching relays for ultra low power consumption. It has 2,000 memory sorted by frequency. Uh, it covers 1.8 to 54 megahertz. Uh, and continuous coverage for Mars, for those that might be interested. It uh, tunes 6 to 800 ohms and 6 to 150 on 6 meters. Uh, has SO239 connections in and out. It uh, has can handle 7 to 18 volts DC, 200 milliamp hours. Um, has a 6-foot uh, DC power cable included. The dimensions of the actual unit itself are 5.5 inches long, 5.5 inches wide, and 1.5 inches high, and it weighs about 20 ounces. Now, it doesn't say if that's with the batteries or without, but uh, we'll, we'll test that out. So anyway, this is the box it comes in. Um, nothing really fancy to it. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get here. So the first thing I'll pull out here is the accessory bag. And you can see the batteries, everything there. Let's go ahead and open this up. So you got the DC power cable. Okay, it's got a barrel port and wire connections to the end. And you got the two packs of AA batteries. Okay, those aside there. You have the BNC to SO239 cable. And you also have the antenna tuner interface cable for the IC705. Okay. All right, let's see what else you got in the box. You got the tuner, put that aside for a second. And you have a manual here. Sorry about my autofocus. Shows you how to do everything here. All right. This is paper, I guess, just for the 705 specifically. Again, I'm sorry about the autofocus. Let's see, I'll show this here so you can see it. Okay, and then you got the uh, little manual for the Z100 Plus automatic antenna tuner. All right, set those aside. Set the box aside. Let's take a look at the actual tuner itself. And I'll get my scissors out here so I can open this up here. Nice bubble wrapping to keep it protected. All right, so the tuner again, pretty nice size wise. Put the 705 next to it there, or up on top, I guess. So, pretty size. Uh, not terribly large if you had to bring it in the field. Um, I did look at a video of the AH705. Um, that's, I believe, that's the code for the uh, antenna tuner that uh, ICOM came out for the 705. That thing is about as big as the 705 is, so it's pretty big. So this really, compared to that one, is not much to deal with. So, and as far as I understand, the batteries can go inside here. Um, I'll have to do that later. Maybe take a picture so I can show it in the video. Um, the same way, antenna in uh i'm sorry well i'm sorry radio in and out to the antenna i, I would guess uh, i'll double check that when we check it out the radio interface and the power uh cable can go in there again this is supposed to run off double a batteries um so i'll have to take this apart and install those and uh anyway i'll get all that done and uh come back give you an update about that and we'll uh, hook it up to 705 and uh 
see how it tunes, see how easy it tunes. So stand by for that. That's coming up next. Okay, I have the uh, LDG Z100 Plus for the IC705 uh, all set up here. Didn't take very long to hook it all up. Just hook up the antenna ports, hook up the radio to the tuner, hook up the interface cable. Uh, pretty standard. I'm running off the batteries, the AA batteries. Um, I'll show a picture here. Uh, now the batteries do actually go inside the tuner itself. Um, so you, once you put the batteries in there, you should be able to operate the tuner for quite some time off those batteries. Although I would say if you're not using the tuner uh, at the time or for a while, I would definitely take the batteries out, especially if they're standard uh, regular alkaline batteries, just because over time the batteries can start to leak and they could possibly damage the tuner. So um, I'm going to see actually if I can run um, rechargeable uh, nickel hydrate batteries in the tuner and see if those will work um, for this tuner. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate real quick. I do have the push to talk tuning on. Um, so let's uh, let's tune around here. Right now I'm on 40 meters. Let's go to 20 meters, and let's make sure we're not going to step on anyone. So go up here a little bit in the band and tune this up. So 14296. All right, we'll press the mic here um, to tune it up. Should automatically tune. And I think it already tuned here, so it memorizes it. So let's just test this out real fast. We'll check the meter here. Test, test, K4 BBC, test, test, K4 BBC. All right, so you can see the SWR is very, very low, um, almost one to one. Um, already tuned up this side of the band, so let's try tuning uh, down the band a bit. We'll go down here. We're still in the voice section of the, the band here, but we'll go down to, let's see, 14,190. We'll try that real fast. And I think we're tuned up for the 20 meter band. Let's test it again. K4 BBC test, K4 BBC test. All right, let's switch bands here. Let's go back to, let's go to 80 meters here. Find a spot that's open. I already tuned up some of these bands so it might automatically remember the setting because this does have memories. Just so you know, uh, we'll try this here. 3.745, all right, hit the mic. It already did a tune, it'll remember the band. Let's go ahead and check it out here and make sure we're good. K4, BBC test, nope, didn't do it. Let's try it again. So you can force tune it too by holding down, if you go to your function screen, hold down the tuner button. You hear it working there. So let's try this again because SWR Forza. Test, test, K4BC, test, test, K4BC. Oh, yeah, much better. Okay, so uh, I don't know why I didn't tune on push to talk, um, but you can also manually set it. And just so you know, let's go back to that. I didn't show that. So this is your function screen. You're going to go to screen two. When you plug this uh, tuner in, they do recommend you power off the radio, connect the uh, cable, the tuning cable. Uh, and then turn the radio back on. This will now light up. It will have um, tuner off or tuner on. Okay, tuner's on now. All right, let's go back to look at that. So tuner's on. And again, if you want to manually tune a frequency, you're just going to hold that button down for a moment and it will automatically start tuning. Although the push to talk feature did work on the other two bands, so I'm not sure why it didn't work on 80 meters, but there's a way to force it. So so far, pretty impressed with this. Again, it's it's not a very big box. Um, it is impressive that I can tune up the 80 meter band here. Uh, just so you know, my 7300, I do not have a, a, a dedicated tuner for my shack. So I use the uh, tuner in the 7300, which can only handle about a three to one uh, to tune. And uh, my SWR is a little bit too high on 75 and 80 meters in order to tune that with the 7300 and 7300's internal tuner. Um, and I don't have an external tuner. So this is the first time I've actually been able to tune up 80 meters at my ho my house here, my QTH. Uh, so I'm very impressed because this can handle up to like a 10 to 1 uh, SWR. And apparently it's doing just fine because it did tune up the 80 meter band for me, which is fantastic because as of yet, I have not been able to talk on 80 meters. Um, and eventually I am planning to buy an external tuner for my, my my shack here, I just haven't done that. I'm probably going to wait till I get my next QTH. But again, very impressed. I was able to tune it up here. 
because uh, I know the SWR uh, on my my antenna out there, my long wire antenna is not very good on 80 meters, probably because the antenna is too short. So anyway, it's a real quick overview of the LDG Z100 Plus tuner. Uh, so far, I like it. Um, this is a lot cheaper than buying the uh, Matt 705. Um, I know that's a lot more expensive. Um, so something you definitely want to check out. I see this on HRO and I think Gigaparts is now also carrying this too. So I invite you to check those out. I might put the links below in the description just so you can check on them. Again, I don't get anything from those companies and I don't get anything from LDG. Um, just wanted to show you the tuner here and uh, I just wanted to see how it worked with the 705. Seems to be working great. Uh, again, fairly portable. Uh, you know, I figure if you have a backpack and you carry this out in the field, it's not terribly, uh, terribly heavy or anything. I'll show a picture of the weight here of the LDG with the batteries in it. Um, I'll put that on the screen here uh, just so you can see that. So anyway, that's the uh, IC705 with the new LDG Z100 Plus Auto Tuner packaged and ready for the IC705. So the LDG Z100 Plus slash IC705 comes with everything you need to get up and running and tune your IC705. So again, thanks guys for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Um, the more viewers and more subscribers I get, the more things I can do with the channel. Um, hopefully companies will reach out to me and send me gear, uh, solar or flashlight or ham radio gear. Uh, that would be fabulous. I would love to work with companies and, and bring you those products. Unfortunately, I don't have deep pocketbooks, so I can't keep buying all this stuff myself. But uh, definitely want to keep bringing you more videos, more gear, and more reviews. So anyway, guys, 7-3, thanks so much for watching. You guys take care.